hello YouTube if you are using one plus one and you are desperate to go to about phone and system update to check for update for the CM 12 s but you are getting this message like no updates available but you are still on 4.4.4 and you don't want to root your phone you don't want to unlock your bootloader but you are looking for a way to install the CM 12 s this is for you this is the safest method you can find and this is the easiest one you don't need to flash anything you don't need to flash any recoveries you just need to flash a file and for that first of all you need to download a file I'll provide a link in the video description the file name is like cm12.0 yn that, that is the file you have to download and copy the file to your oneplus one any folder you can copy after that go to the settings menu and then here is the about phone and down you will get this build number tap seven times on that build number then you will see you have enabled developer options so you go, if you go back to the main screen you will get this developer options here click on that one and then on top itself you can see advanced reboot option click, click, on, click on that one after that press and hold the power button then you will get the restore reboot option from there choose the reboot to recovery option and then click ok so the phone will reboot to recovery mode that is a stock recovery mode we call it you don't need to worry about your data and all you only need to flash a you, you only need to flash a file and then wipe a cache partition so you won't your data will be safe even after the update from here in the screen screen click on update apply update then there is another option called choose from internal storage click on that one and click on this zero forward slash that means the internal storage here you can find all the files and look for the file if you stored your file inside any folder you can select that one I stored in the main folder so here is the file set the cm120 file and then it will start flashing that file it might take some time so please be patient you can see the progress bar down below so after the installation just do the wipe cache partition after that you can reboot the system now and I'm confirming again that your data will be completely safe because you are not wiping anything other than cache partition so you can see started showing the Sanogen boot logo this is the CM12 boot logo and remember that the first boot will take some time so please be patient again and once the Sanogen SM12S is loaded you can finalize the settings using the normal method that's it I hope this that helps if you have any question regarding this method you can ask in the comment section below thanks for watching Please subscribe for more.